am the nature hacker and this is your world what you're looking at right now is a battery breakthrough I am getting 0.4 volts I'm getting 0.4 volts between molybdenum and copper I'm using copper as an anode that means that copper is being oxidized my electrolyte is very important here my electrolyte is a mixture of um, potassium iodide uh, phosphoric acid and uh, hydrogen peroxide so that's potassium iodide phosphoric acid hydrogen peroxide what I did is I created basically um, an oxidizing iodine acid iodic acid so this is you know very green very environmentally friendly um, pretty safe pretty safe as well I mean iodine is definitely not a dangerous element I mean you know it can oxidize and stuff but um, you know human exposure to iodine is not a risk it's a good thing so I'm getting 0.4 volts uh, which is quite good I mean I tried this with nitric acid and I got uh, 0.2 volts so the iodic acid is really really good against copper and um, so so yeah so molybdenum and copper so that means that we could have molybdenum sheets you know electrolyte and copper sheets but you know what the cool thing about this battery is is I believe that it would be rechargeable and not just <laughs> not just rechargeable like ultra rechargeable like like in the order of infinitely rechargeable potentially I mean that that's what I'm going for here is that you know this you know typically a rechargeable um, electrode would be like lithium iron phosphate and it's just this kind of crummy conglomeration of junk right but if your and if your anode can be simply copper you might be able to have like an infinitely rechargeable battery or at least like orders of magnitude of more recharge cycles than a, a typical battery so a copper molybdenum battery could be the future of rechargeable batteries and we're only getting 0.4 volts a cell but really that's not bad that is not bad you just stack those in series and you can get some decent voltage from there so could there be better uh, cathode materials than molybdenum probably I mean take a look you know see if you can find anything better I tried chromium already chromium does not work chromium is attacked even easier than uh, copper so chromium will not work molybdenum molybdenum is a winner here molybdenum is very resistant to the uh, oxidizing iodic acid and copper is very weak to it so I think this is our our thing right here you know so this is pretty much as good as it gets I mean molybdenum is really not that expensive so if we could get some types of molybdenum foils and copper foils co copper foils are you know relatively speaking they're expensive compared to like aluminum but it's really not that bad so copper mo copper as the anode molybdenum as the cathode and uh, the electrolyte is um, hydrogen peroxide mixed with iodic acid or you could do potassium iodide phosphoric acid and um, potassium iodine phosphoric acid and uh, hydrogen peroxide so brand new battery this is a breakthrough so potentially infinitely rechargeable or you know close to I am nature hacker do work